The Danube River, which has been called not so much a river as a way of life, rises in Germany and flows through Eastern Europe to the Black Sea. In the farmlands above Budapest, a turn in the river known as the Danube Bend curves gracefully just below the Palace of Visegrad, the historic residence of the one-time kings and queens of Hungary. This is where, more than a decade ago, the Hungarian government said it would build the Nagyamaros hydroelectric dam. In a joint project with Czechoslovakia and later on Austria, it was to be part of a $3 billion hydroelectric system that would build a massive reservoir, dredge 100 miles of the Danube, and divert 13 miles of it into a concrete canal. The government called it the project of the century. It would, the government said, improve electric power, navigability, cargo traffic, and the Hungarian economy. But as the project began, it was also being said that it would submerge 150,000 acres of forest, break down a fragile ecosystem, deposit polluted sediment on the river bottom, poison a gigantic water table that supplied drinking water to three million people every day, and disfigure the natural beauty of the Danube Bend. It was being said that the project must be stopped. Who was saying this? It was 1984. Who in the Eastern European communist world of 1984 was openly saying anything like this to the government of Hungary? It was someone who had already spoken out in a magazine article the government had suppressed in 1980. And that was when Janos Varga, a Hungarian biologist and science editor, started a group called the Danube Circle and became its public spokesman against the Najimarosh Dam. They defied the government. They gathered supporters through an underground publisher. They gave enough courage to people that 10,000 of them put their names on a petition to the government. The government's answer was to clamp down. It met a nature walk organized by Varga with truncheons and tear gas. It condemned him through the Association of Hungarian Journalists. And one day, his job as editor of a scientific magazine just disappeared. But Janos Varga kept on speaking, writing, lecturing, debating, forming alliances with scientists, environmental groups, and international organizations. In September 1988, a month of street demonstrations culminated in a human chain stretching along the Danube through the center of Budapest. Now 150,000 signed a petition for a referendum on the Najimarosh Dam. And the next year, 1989, the government finally put an end to the construction of the dam. Although his concerns were primarily ecological, for most Hungarians, Janos Varga came to stand as the first citizen to oppose a government put in power when the Soviet tanks rolled into Budapest in 1956. Even just a year ago, it might have been unwise to announce an award to a citizen of Hungary for an environmental movement against the government itself. But we are told that today, Hungary would be proud to see international recognition for environmental progress. And tonight, for outstanding environmental achievement in Europe, a 1990 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Janos Varga of Budapest, Hungary. <laughs>